Hi, it's James Croft, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to add restrictions to an assignment submission folder in Connect. Restrictions can include things like dates or release criteria, and can make sure that your students are accessing your assignment submission folder at the right time. Let's find a folder we've already created and set some restrictions. Click on the folder's title, then click the Edit Folder button. Now let's click on the Restrictions tab. First of all, I can choose to hide this submission folder from users until I want my students to access it. Next up, I can choose some availability dates for this submission folder. Without dates applied, this folder will be available for student submissions at any time. Firstly, you can set a start date. Before the start date, the folder will be visible, but students can't access the instructions or make a submission until after the start date has passed. Next, a due date. Student submissions made after the due date are still accepted, but will be flagged as late in the marking interface. You can decide if there are penalties around late submission. You can also set an end date. After the end date has passed, a submission folder will indicate that it is closed. It will continue to be visible, but students cannot access the instructions or make a submission. You can also attach release conditions to a submission folder. If you do, the folder won't be visible to a student until they meet those conditions. For example, we can set a release condition that a student needs to attempt assessment task 1, which is a quiz, before they can access assessment task 2. Click the Create and Attach button. Click the Condition Type drop-down and select Completed Quiz Attempt. Locate your assessment task and select Number of Attempts. Once you're happy, click the Create button. Now, students must have completed at least one attempt of assessment task 1 before this submission folder will become visible to them. You can also set special access for a submission folder. This allows us to set special dates for this folder on a per student basis. Click the Add Users to Special Access button. For example, I can set an end date for two weeks later, then choose students that this special access applies for. In this case, I'll just choose one. Once you're happy, click the Save button to apply. You can now see that my chosen student has an end date specifically for them. This can be helpful for setting student extensions without needing to change your folder settings for everyone. Special access can also work by making a submission folder only visible to those with special access. This can be helpful if you need to create a specific assignment submission folder for a subset of students only. When you're happy with the restrictions you've set, click the Save and Close button. These restrictions will now be in effect for all students in your unit.